Morning everyone. So I have a, a practice problem that normally we would do as a like a warm-up question during these beers all labs. So I figured I'd make a quick video. Um, should be helpful for you with your percent copper and brass calculations. Bye. Oops. All right, so here's a Beer's Law plot for the absorbance of copper to sulfate um, versus its concentration, and it wants to know what mass of copper could be produced by the complete reaction of excess zinc metal with 50 mils of CuSO4. So essentially, um, we are reacting um, the zinc with the C with um, an unknown amount of CuSO4, and it will produce these blue copper ions, and so we can, that's our unknown. So we have our unknown with its absorbance. And then, just like you did for your lab, we have a known molarity of the stock solution and they measured the absorbance and then they did several dilutions and measured the absorbance and got this line of best fit. So you can see the different concentrations. It was really concentrated. They diluted, they diluted, they diluted, different absorbances. And they gave us the equation for the line of best fit, which is right here. Y equals MX plus B, so we get all right, we're still going, I think. Sorry about that. Let's go up like this. Y equals, the slope is 2.399 times X, and the Y-intercept. So there's our equation. The unknown was 0 0.685 as our absorbance. Remember, absorbance doesn't have any units. 2.399x minus 0 0.005494. So let's get um, x by itself. I can add that 0 0.005494, divide both sides by the 2.399, and I get x equals 0 0.2, I think that's 88. 88 molar and double check mole per liter is molarity you always want to make sure it's not micromolar so that's molar of CuSO4 so now we need to do some mole island we are on molarity island and remember molarity is equal to mole divided by liter so from that I can go from molarity island to mole island and then from mole island to mass because we want to know the um, mass, I believe. What mass of copper? So we just want to get to grams on this one. So I'm going to take my molarity, 0 0.288 molar equals some number of moles over, and we need to know the volume. Um, and for this problem, they told us it was 50 milliliters. So the unknown had a volume of 50 milliliters. That's 0 0.0500 liters, so I can solve for x. In this case, for my moles, I get 0 0.0144 moles of CuSO4. Um, so if I have one mole of CuSO4, that means I have one mole of Cu2+. So if I have 0 0.0144, for four moles of CuSO4, that's the same as 0 0.0144 moles of Cu2+. And so that's the copper. And we know that the mass of Cu2 plus is equal to the mass of regular copper because the electrons are negligible. So now we can just go from mole island to mass island. 0 0.0144 moles of Cu2 plus will give me one mole, the molar mass of copper, 63.55 grams. So we just, quick multiplication, I get 0.915 grams of Cu. This could be helpful for you because in order to do percent copper by brass, you need to be able to find the percent copper and then we would divide it by the mass of your brass sample, which you put in your procedure to measure, but I measured for you this year. Um, so hopefully this helps you see maybe how your calculations could help you with the brass lab and really the food dye lab as well. Here it is worked out one more time, just a little sloppier. Oh, one thing to note, so we are going to use the line of best fit. That's the best way to solve for the unknown concentration. But if you look in red here, I kind of estimated ahead of time. If it's 0.65, it's probably somewhere in this range, right? It's If this is 0.7, about halfway, it's somewhere right in here. We can go over to the line of best fit and drop down. So I should have been just below 0.3 for my concentration, and we got 0.288 
right? So you can use the graph to predict. We are going to use the line of best fit um, unless it tell if, unless they don't give you the line of best fit and they only give you the graph. Then you can just eyeball it like I did here as a prediction.